This is my first attempt at adding the internal 64K upgrade to the Atom. In this one, I just tried the method of just piggybacking the RAM chips on the other RAM chips that are already in the Atom by soldering them. Suffice it to say it failed because I'm pretty sure I damaged something along the way. I'm still going to try to figure it out. But it's kind of fascinating if you want to watch and see how it works. It, it's about a half, maybe an hour long. I, say, I tell some good jokes in there. I give some trivia and things like that. All right, so what happened is I didn't realize, I didn't notice. Well, I did know when I first looked at it. The notches changed directions. So this one I have to take off and I have to rotate going this way. See, the notches are on this side over here and on this side over here. Thank you, Coleco. So, now I gotta take that one off. Shouldn't be too hard. I do have an extra. Yeah, that, that works. Dump them out, Bill. But I do have an extra that I can use. I think I have two extras. Yeah, two extras, so I'm still good. All right, back to fast forwarding. All right, so I made a mess of it there, but like I said, I do have extra, so I'm not going to clean that one up. What I need to do, though, is i got to clean this mess up in here. I want to lose solder there, so I'll get that out of there. I think I can use my wick to do that. I don't want too much heat loosen up the actual chip that's here. Actually, let's do this first.
Alright, so it appears my camera decided to stop filming when I had these last two chips left to do. So, I get those went on just as easy as the others, nothing like that when we did it was hard. The thing I, about doing this is the legs of the chips, if you bend them, they grip the chip below. So then you're just tacking them in place. You don't have to worry about going through holes or anything like that. You're just tacking them so that they stay in contact. And I totally missed that one right there. I just saw that. The only one, this one was a hard one because it had extra solder blobs on it. So I need to power my soldering iron back up and get that one leg and see the leg is not attached to it. It probably works, but I'm going to have to power it up and we'll do that. Then while the soldering iron is warming up so I can tack that, I'm going to prepare the wire that I'm going to be using to attach all these together. I gotta loop each one, that one to that one to that one to that one. It'd be easier if I just made little pieces about, eh, say about that long. Cut them, strip the excess off, attach them. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'll start the camera back up once I get all this built up, all this ready to go. Alright, so now that has been attacked that back on there. Now I'm gonna attach all these little wires here and a couple big wires. I need a bigger one to go to the resistor and a so I wanted to go there. So all I gotta do is I gotta strip off the ends, tack it. I do that right now. All right, now we're hooked up there. And as I said, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's very workable. I'm going to put it back together now and give her a shot and see what happens. First test will be, does it actually not, does it work and not crash the computer? We'll find out. Hi everybody, Future Millie here. Well, I'm editing this. And I went digging in my unsorted folders. And somewhere along the way, I lost the footage of me testing it. Don't worry, it didn't work. Black screen, no response. Nothing happened. Sad. So I ended up pulling it apart. And that will be the next part. I'll show you the next thing I did to it. This is a multi-step video. This I spent hours days working on this project and it works in the end I made all the mistakes so you don't have to but as you can see I'm editing right now and it didn't work <laughs>